Hey guys, I'm in the back from Tyler. Let's talk about drag capacity, right? A lot of different reels boast all kinds of max drags. Is it really that impressive to me? Not really most of the time. Why? Because a reel that boasts 80 pounds of drag when I put a 100 pound test on it is not gonna really help me. We're never gonna get to 80 pounds of drag. So I'd rather take a reel that's more refined, the drag runs flawless, smooth, doesn't skip, and is applicable to what line and fishing that I'm doing. So we have to take that into account. Don't base your decision on buying a reel on max drag because the fact is, can you really use that max drag? Is the rod that you're gonna put that reel with gonna handle that? Are you gonna be able to handle it? Most people can't handle 40 pounds of drag standing up. So it's not something that's applicable. So we should take that into account. You know, there's a lot of different size reels out there, right? We have Shimano, we have Penn, we have Daiwa, we have Accurate, and each one has different drag maxes. But we wanna make sure that it's applicable to what we're doing, and more importantly than anything, when we're using our max drag, whatever that is, on a reel, it might not be what the reel's max drag can be. So it's actually applicable to what we're fishing and the line that we're using. So we wanna take that into account. Don't base your decisions on a reel's max drag. Base it on performance and how you're gonna utilize that max drag and can you use it in that setting that you're fishing. So remember, do a lot of research or ask a lot of questions and make that right